Hello everyone, welcome back to Dentistry and more. So we have a continuation of dental auxiliaries. So last session we have covered non-operating dental auxiliary. So today's video is about operating dental auxiliary. The first one is New Zealand School Dental Nurse. So it was started in New Zealand. So it was uh, called as New Zealand School Dental Nurse. In 1921, the first training school for dental nurse that is Dominion Training School for Dental Nurse was opened in Wellington, New Zealand. So it was Thomas Hunter, a founder of the New Zealand Dental Association and pioneer in establishment of a dental school in New Zealand. So he is the father of school dental nurse and training is for two years and they will be after training uh, they will be assigned to school by the government and they are expected to provide care for children at nearly every six months. So what are the duties? So New Zealand school dental nurse is the only dental auxiliary where they can independently diagnose the patient and do treatment. No other auxiliary especially operating auxiliary uh, can do diagnosis only New Zealand uh, school dental nurse is allowed to do a diagnosis so they can do diagnosis <laughs> they can do screening that is order profile access they can do uh, fluoride application and uh, they can uh, perform local anesthetics injection so this we have seen in our fluoride if the drinking water amount uh, fluoride and drinking water amount what should be the supplement uh, of fluoride we should give so this table we have covered in detail about uh, our fluoride chapter that is topical fluoride chapter so other duties are uh, filling up restorations uh, direct pulp capping indirect pulp capping uh, tooth extraction and dental health education of school children and motivating uh, children's and uh, helping them to adopt a healthy oral hygiene practices so that was the dental school nurse they are uh, specialized in diagnosis so dental therapist is another form it is operating auxiliary <coughs> sorry who is permitted to carry out the prescription of supervising dentist so they cannot do work independently but they need a prescription of a supervising dentist about the preventive and treatment measures including preparation of cavities and restoration of teeth they cannot do anything uh, by their own decision they have to uh, wait for the supervising dentist uh, decision so they are like school dental nurse but their role is quite different they are not permitted to diagnose and plan dental care they are permitted to work based on the written treatment plan by the dentist. So this uh, course duration is also two years. So these two uh, operating dental auxiliary, dental therapist and school dental nurse is not available in our country. So what is available is dental hygienist. So these type of uh, uh, operating auxiliaries uh, courses are available in our dental colleges. So what uh, dental hygienist is operating auxiliary registered to practice dental hygiene under the laws of appropriate state whatever it is. So usual functions are uh, scaling, fluoride application, pit and fissure sealants, screening and oral hygiene instruction. They basically do uh, profile access work and uh, patient health education and let's see what is expanded function dental auxiliary or EFDA it is very important it's commonly asked question EFDA is an expanded function so already some duties are there for certain dental auxiliary but we are expanding their functions or they're expanding dental duties so EFDA uh, are applying on to dental assistant and dental hygienist so once uh, EFTA uh, training is given to dental assistant, they will become preventive dental assistant. Usually dental assistant cannot uh, work um, on uh, any patient. So once the extra training that is expanded function uh, training they are getting, they will become preventive dental assistant. And if dental hygienist, uh, if you are giving extra duties, they will become expanded 
duties as a dental hygienist with expanded duties so this is from non-operating and this is from operating so one non-operating and one non-operating auxiliary is provided or is given extra duties that is expanded function dental auxiliary so it is a dental assistant or a dental hygienist in some cases who has received further training in duties related to direct treatment of patients so they will be getting further training for treating the patient still they work under the supervision of dentist so levels of supervision i'll be covering in my next video so american dental association advocated careful examination of values of uh, delegating to expanded functioning of personnel those duties which were reversible that is did not include cutting of soft and hard tissue so such duties are not uh, given to EFTA so remember that one non-operating and one operating auxiliary given expanded functions and they become expanded function dental auxiliaries so what are the duties for a dental assistant in expanded function they can do retraction of gingiva impression taking uh, space maintenance orthodontic appliances etching of teeth determining root length and pit and fissure sealants for dental hygienist they can do the same thing along with temporary stabilization suture placement and debridement of periodontal surgical site so these were the no, these were the duties which was not there when they were just hygienist or when they were just dental assistant when they were provided with expanded training so they can do all these works so let's see what is a dental licentiate so this we have seen uh, the WHO's uh, uh, new uh, types of auxiliaries so dental licentiate is a semi-independent so if you have uh, so let me go back and show you the classification so we'll have a better idea so in operating auxiliary after expanded function uh, dental auxiliary we have new types of dental auxiliaries the first one is dental licentiate okay so dental licentiate is a semi-independent operator trained to perform dental profile access cavity preparation and filling extraction under LA drainage of dental abscesses and early recognition of more serious dental problems so that is dental licentiate but whereas dental aid they as the name suggests, just just uh, perform first aid procedures, including extraction of teeth under LA and control of hemorrhage. So this recognition of uh, this, they do recognition of dental diseases, which require the transfer of patient to dental offices. So these uh, dental aid and dental licentiate are newer type of dental auxiliary, where the dentists are uh, very uh, less in number. So these auxiliaries can help the uh, people in uh, basic uh, treatment procedures so let's see what is frontier auxiliaries frontier auxiliary is nothing but uh, the lay people like nurses and former dental assistants and they will be provided with minimal training like dental profile access health education relief of pain referral fluoride rinse programs and simple denture repair so these uh, frontier auxiliaries will be uh, deployed to uh, countryside areas where the dentists are very short in number so they can help the people uh, in base providing basic treatments so that is frontier auxiliaries so that's all about uh, operating uh, dental auxiliaries so I, I have just to recap frontier auxiliaries dental aid dental licentiate so EFTA dental hygienist dental therapist and school dental nurse so it was just a brief uh, description of the operating dental auxiliary so remember this name thomas hunter so the next session will be of um, levels of supervision so how a dentist is supervising his dental auxiliary so i'll come up with levels of supervision in my next session thank you